Welcome back. So this is lesson four. So if you're just now discovering these videos, there's three more. And we will finish up the high part or the rest of Cripple Creek in this lesson. And this one, I'm going to ask you to do a couple of new things. So there will be a couple of new skills for you today. But I don't, I don't think you'll have any problem with them. There's the, the beauty of this part is, is you already know half of it from the low part of Cripple Creek. So you just have, you have just a few measures of stuff musically to learn. And, and then the rest of it's going to be some new stuff. But fortunately, it, it, it's, all, it's all pretty, pretty simple. Uh, we've been doing... The role you've been practicing is the alternating role, thumb index, thumb middle. Well, we're going to do a new little roll pattern today. It's only going to be four notes. It's just a forward roll. And it's five, two, one, five. Thumb, index, middle, thumb. So just. And then when you get to the end of that, we're going to hit the first string with our middle finger, and then we're going to pinch. So five, two, one, five, one, pinch. So let me do it again. So that's all that's going on. And you can actually sit, and I'd recommend it, just sit and practice doing that over and over. As much as you need to. All right, the next thing we're going to do, another little new, new, new idea, we're going to slide on the first string. We're going to slide from two all the way to five, and we're going to do it with a pinch. But what we're going to do is we're going to hit that pinch first. So hold your first string at the second fret and pinch, let it ring, and then slide all the way to five. Pinch, slide. Still your middle finger there, pinch, slide, pinch, slide. When you get to the fifth, so you're going to go pinch, slide. When you get to that fifth fret, pinch again. So it sounds like pinch, slide, pinch. And if you'll say that when you do it, it'll help your timing too. Just so pinch, slide, pinch, pinch, slide, pinch. After that, pick that finger up. You're going to hit your first string, and then you hit your second string. So I just use my middle finger, and then my first finger. So it's pinch, slide, pinch, one, two. They're all quarter notes. Even that slide, we can't, we're counting it. Pinch, slide, pinch, one, two. That makes sense, right? I hope so. All right, because I, I got you a new, another new skill. We're going to do par, a, a partial C chord. Don't need the whole thing, just need part of one. We're only going to use it for just four notes. And then we're going to be right back off of it again. So no reason to grab the whole thing and stress over a, the C chord. We're going to use its two fingers. We're actually going to implement our first finger for this one. So we're going to take our first finger. Put it on the second string at the first fret. This goes just right there. And then our middle finger, the one we've been using, it's probably sore after practicing all those slides. And then we're going to put it on the first string at the second fret. Looks just like that. Is that yeah, you can see that. All right. Here's where we do that new roll, that 5215. That's all we do. Hold that down. Now pick it up, it's open, nothing going on in the left hand, hit your first string, and then pinch. So, five, two, one, five, one, pinch. Easy peasy. Now we're going to do something we've already done. So in the video number three, we had, it's a slide with our alternate roll. And then an open, then a hammer, and then a three. Stop right there on that three. Just let that one, don't put the pinch on the end. 
We can handle that, right? We're leaving stuff out. It's easy to leave stuff out. So, got slide, open, hammer, three. We're going to do it again. So put that finger down. Here's that pinch. Pinch, slide, pinch, one, two, partial C, five, two, one, five, open, one, pinch, slide, open, hammer, three. So let me do that a couple of times. It, and it does it two times. Two times. So pinch, slide, pinch, one, two, five, two, one, five. back on the end. So that's your high part. Does that make sense? Let me do it again. Now do the low part that we did in lesson three. Put the pinch on the end, just let that third string ring right there. Then you can go back to your high part. on the end takes you back to the low part so quick little tip this may help you may not leave the pinch off when you're getting ready to go to the high part put the pinch back on at the end when you're getting ready to go to the low part that's kind of how I remember it in, in my brain whatever it takes for you to remember it's fine do it your way this is a way to do it this is the way I do it but you don't have to do it this way so I'm going to play through it one more time real slow. I'll start it with the high part and then do the low part. I know I taught you the low part first, but we're going to do the high part first and then do the low part. I taught you the low part first because it was easier. So here we go. I'm going to play through it medium tempo. I'll try to talk a little bit as I'm going through it to give you tips of where everything is, and then I'll shut up. And so I'll play through it twice, all the way through. And then... I'll just leave you all to practice.
Going up Cripple Creek to have a little fun. That's why we're doing this, right? We having fun yet? All right. So y'all work on that a bunch. Play it, play it, play it. Drive your family crazy. Drive your friends crazy. Say, hey, look, I can play Cripple Creek. And you can. So you can do this. Uh, next video, I'll we'll break down some just simple tips and tricks and things to think about. And I'll give you a little something different to try on Cripple Creek, but you practice, 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 practice. Refer back to the video. If there's something you don't understand, pause the video, back up, watch it again, watch it over and over. I don't mind. I really don't. And uh, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. That way you'll get notifications when I do post a video out here, lesson. And uh, be sure to hit like. Tell your friends. We'll see you next time.